if you don't have accountability, I would not be where I am today if I didn't have people in here that I was close to that <laughs> didn't keep me accountable. And usually they don't always, it's not always like pulling me aside about and saying, um, you know, you shouldn't really be doing this. A lot of times it's that conviction that you get in your heart. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We're not perfect. I don't flow in the anointing at 24 hours a day, led by the Holy Spirit. I'm a human. I have flesh. My body's not glorified yet. I'm not perfect. Not until the day that we get our new bodies and we're not in this world anymore. Amen? Amen. Until then, I'm flaky. Amen? Amen. I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. Yep. But God uses the people around you. If, it's happened many times. I talk to someone, um, you know, that's a that's in this church that I'm close to, different people, even, pa even your pastors. I'm submitted to my pastors, amen? amen? They don't tell me what to do with my life, but I like to talk to them. I like to get counsel from them because they have much more wisdom and experience than I do, amen? amen. Well, I can be talking to someone, and as I'm explaining my situation about I don't know what to do, or, or whatever the situation is, there's something inside that can be like a, a conviction or a, um, you know, as I'm telling them this, I kind of feel, um, you know, not right about it. And it's that witness of the Holy Spirit working with one another. Amen. And if, um, if I have, if I, you know, this happened more um, um, in the beginning, I remember of my, my days of, of, being a new um, spirit-filled Christian and, and getting involved in the church. And there'd be things that maybe um, I would be doing, and I don't want you to give the wrong idea, not like going out to go drinking or, or something like that, but just, uh, just different things that um, I would be planning on doing. And then I'm like, you know what? How come I don't feel, I don't feel right um, telling, so -and -so, telling Pastor Tom that I'm going to go be doing this, that I'm going to be um, go, leaving for the weekend to go um, do such and such thing. And at first it can be like, well, I don't have to feel bad that I'm not going to be at church, right? Because obviously it's not, you know, we have things to do. Um, we, have pl we have places to go minister sometimes, amen, of, of um, Wayne and Kathy. There's times they're not here. They're out doing their, what God's called them to do. They're actually like getting people filled with the Holy Spirit when they're gone, amen? Yeah. They're ministering as a family. Yeah. But anyways, God keeps us accountable to one another. He wants to, I think I'm holding back right now because I don't want to sound offensive, but I'm going to stop doing that. There are times that you're away from church too much, amen? amen. I've, that's happened to me. Yeah. Forgive me. I'm being obedient now. There's been times where I've been away from church too much and where, you know, that wasn't exactly what God wanted me to do. He had like a message. He had a message that he needed me to hear. You know, the thing is, we have DVDs, we have CDs, we have books, we have the internet, we have websites, we have everything, podcasts, iPods, we can hear the word everywhere we go. But the message is there, but the anointing is not there in its fullness. You need to be in here, or wherever God's called you to be, Amen. so you can get impartation. Amen. Amen? You can't get impartation from a book. You can get knowledge imparted to you. You can't get the anointing. Amen. Amen. You can't get that fullness. Yep. God wants you to be in, with, wherever the anointed preacher is that he's called you to be in. If you go to Romans chapter 1, Things flow much better when you're just obedient to God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Romans 1, 1 through 12. This is Paul writing. This is um, the first book that Paul wrote to a church that he hadn't been to yet. He hadn't been to this body yet, and he's writing a letter to them. All the other letters, he had already been to those local bodies. Amen? So I want to just mention that to you. Um, so he introduces himself. Paul, a bondservant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who was born of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Through him we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom you also are called of, Christ, of Jesus Christ. 
To all who are in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. Making request if, by some means, now at last I might find a way in the will of God to come to you, for I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts, so that you may be established. That is, that I may, I may also be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Do you notice in verse 10 and 11, he wants to get to them so that he can impart spiritual gifts to them. How many of you think that it doesn't really make sense to try to do the will of God in your life without spiritual gifts? Amen? Without the empowering of the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? Amen which you get through laying out of hands, just being around, just being around over time. Peggy, your family's changed just being around even, right? Wouldn't you agree? Just being here, it's gradual, amen? It's been a very, it's a gradual walk for me, but I just try to be around as much as I can, amen? Try to be here as often as I can, just to be around that anointing. And it's not that every service you're going to feel it, amen? But you're obedient, and God blesses your obedience, and his spirit flows in your life through that obedience, amen? You open doors for him to flow in your life. Amen. You're opening doors for him to do what he needs to do in your life, amen? Imparting things to you. That means equipping you. It says in here that I may impart to you some spiritual gifts so that you may be established. We need it to be established. We need it for our foundation. Amen? Amen. We need to be um, in that place God has called us to be. Amen.